You don't deserve this, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I'm doing to you. I'm sorry. I'm stupid and pathetic and a sorry excuse for a human being. I'm sorry. I wish you could know how sorry I am, how I hurt. <laughs> Making this about me again, aren't I? Selfish. But then I always have been. <sighs> what I should say is I'm leaving you and then leave you to it. Rather than asking you not to hate me for hurting you. You should hate me. I deserve it. I just want you to know it, it's not you. It really isn't. You've done nothing wrong. It's me. It's all me. I just can't... Can't do this anymore. It's all too nice. Our lives together, our, our house, all of it, down to the cream sofa, all the planters in the drive. It's unbearably, suffocatingly nice. It's so horribly claustrophobic. I know that's exactly what I should want, niceness, but I don't. I I crave mess. I want dirt under my fingernails from 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 clawing at the ground. I want hair. It's wild and, and untamed. I want clothes and torn on on thorns and brambles and sometimes I so badly want to mess everything up that I consider driving in to those stupid planters. Just to, to watch them smash. Or I think about setting the house on fire. Just to watch it burn. Just to be something other than nice. Just for a moment. <laughs> what would you do if I did that? I know your golf clubs are kept do it right now. I could smash all the windows in. I could destroy your carefully positioned planters. I could take the car, churn up that perfectly manicured lawn. Picture it. You come home after a long, long day and it's just carnage. Your whole world is in tatters. Then what would you do? You'd be horrified, of course. Of course you would be. I mean, who wouldn't? Can't you see? That's the problem. Not that I want someone who will sit there and let me do criminal damage. But I just... I imagine myself blazing with, with life and energy. And I want someone who could be enthralled, intoxicated by that, not plain old boring horrified just because I couldn't play nice anymore. But if I stay a minute longer, I know I will start smashing things. I just know. I know you want to fix it, but you can't. 
no matter what you do, you are sweet and lovely. You, you could roll around in pig shit, and you'd still manage to be pleasant. You, you'd arise from the muck, not hair out of place, you, your suit all pristine. I just can't do that anymore. I did love you, though. I did, once. We were barely past children when we met. I was rough and wild. I was always in trouble. I was hurrying away with a bag of shoplifted CDs I didn't want or need when I, I stumbled right into you. You were dazzling. You were so immaculate and yet... Now it, it's faded to just plain nice. <laughs> and I'd become nice too. You had stained me with your niceness. My wildness has gone. <sighs> and when I realised that, Almost at that exact moment, that was when I crashed into her. If you dazzled me by being immaculate, she, she stole my breath away completely by, by being a complete and, and total mess. I mean, her eyeliner was, was too thick. Her, her clothes were too cheap. I mean, her nails were, were chipped. And I looked down at her, half expecting to see a bag of stolen CDs. And it was surprising, instead to find a prescription of lithium. That's her. She's so imperfect. She's so not all of this. You're pristine. And you've stained me with niceness. But I will never keep up with that. Whereas she's wild and messy. And I want to be wild and messy too. And I, I think maybe I could be her equal in that. You know, at least I want to try. It's not love like I loved you. It's not steady and dependable. It's, it's hot and bright and flaky. I know that it would be kinder if it was real love. I, I know you would understand it better if it was. Maybe it is. Uh, it's not love for her. You see, it's love for myself. I love myself too much to stay now. I can't, can't love myself stained with all this, this, this niceness. I, I need to trip and fall and stumble and pick myself up again and bleeding and snot running from my nose and and fix myself by loving myself so intensely and so immediately. So you see, I have to go. I have to leave. I have to make a huge mess of it all so that I can be myself again. I wish you well. I really do. You deserve love and kindness. You're a good person. You really are. You deserve someone... Someone nice. Like you.